Are you wondering why your home isn't selling in today's crazy hot real estate market? Well, I'm about to show you and we're getting started right now. What's up everybody? It's Paul Ambrosio. And on this channel, we talk living in Chicago's best suburban communities, where they are and what makes them so great. And in some cases, not so great. You're gonna get the truth here. And I'm trying to get to all the suburbs, it's just me. So if anybody wants to help out, let me know. So if this is your first time to my channel, make sure you subscribe below and tap on the bell, or instead of tapping on it, smash on the bell. So you are notified when I upload new videos to this channel. If you're thinking of moving to or relocating out of any of Chicago's suburban communities, make sure you give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. However you would like to get a hold of us, know that we've got your back. We're making a move to or out of Chicago Lands Marketplace. In this video, I'm going to provide you with 11 reasons why your home isn't selling in today's crazy, 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 hot, hot, hot real estate market. And for the bonus, if you stick around to the end, you'll get to see the whole video. <laughs> That's right. There's no bonus this time. No cheesy infomercial either. Just watch the video to the end. I promise pure pleasure. Okay, let's get into it. When you first put your house on the market, you might be hopeful for a quick sale. You heard the rumors, you hear everybody's success, but now you put your home on the market and er, where's the activity, right? You put a lot of money into the home, improving it over the years. Well, you shouldn't panic if the house doesn't sell the moment you list it, but you should begin to panic and start to worry in the coming weeks and months as they pass you by without any offers. Here are 11 reasons why your house may not be selling in today's crazy real estate market. Did I say crazy? Crazy real estate market. Okay, number one, you overvalued your property. Yep, you priced it too high. If your house is overpriced, it's simply not gonna sell. I don't care what market we're in. If it's overpriced, it's not selling. Compare your property to the similar properties that recently sold within your area to get a better idea of its true value. Yes, in today's crazy real estate market, homes are going over ask price. So, uh, you know, technically you could be overpriced a little bit and still have success, but you do want to price it correctly in the beginning. Okay, next up we have number two, your property description, right? You have a poor property description. If the listing of your home includes a poorly written property description without any bang, with any pop, right? A lot of buyers are gonna skip right over it. Make sure you put an effort into creating a listing that attracts the attention of buyers. Make it pop, make it stand out. OMG, honey, stop the car, house beautiful, HGTV ready, Pottery Barn magazine style, or you know, you get it, right? Bam! Okay, number three, you're always present at the showings. Buyers do not want to have the seller lurking over their shoulder, following them around. This puts unwanted stress and pressure on everybody, which will make them uncomfortable and likely chase them right out the front door. Pack up the family, head out for some ice cream, go get some pizza, go catch a movie. Just get out of the house and let the buyer and the agent do their thing. Number four, you're too attached to your home. If you refuse to negotiate even a penny off the price, then there's a good chance that you've become too attached to your home. If you think your house is the best house in the world, the Mr. or Mrs. Perfect on the block, odds are you're gonna have a lot of difficulties coming to an agreement with the potential buyer. Be flexible and keep an open mind. Number five, you haven't had your home professionally clean. A dirty house is going to leave a bad impression on the buyer. Make sure you get a professional to come in and deep clean your house, including the windows and yes, the kitchen cabinets before you begin showing the house. Wipe down all those cabinets, get all the grease off of them, make them shine just perfect. 
And don't forget the appliances, right? Get all the grime and grease off of those. Check out the spring cleaning video we did back in spring of 2021. This is where we went deep on some of the excellent house cleaning hacks that were most popular this past spring. Number six, you haven't staged your home. Now listen, if you already moved out of the house and the house is empty, don't show an empty house. This makes it difficult for buyers to imagine living in your space. Stage the house with furniture and decor to give the buyers a better idea of how big every room is and how it can be used properly. You want the buyers to feel at home, right? When they are there taking the tour, you, you, you want them to get comfortable and feel like it's home. We have several great stagers on our vendor list. Just reach out and ask. Number seven, you keep up all your personal decor. Buyers are gonna feel uncomfortable touring the house if you keep all your family portraits up on the wall. Take down Aunt Sally and Uncle Joe. No one wants to see Uncle Joe in a Speedo, trust me. You wanna make it easier for the buyer to imagine themselves living there in the space. You know, a thing you could do is you know, take down some of those pictures and maybe go to the dollar store or go to Goodwill and get a picture that will, that's tasteful, that will cover that space where you just took down 20 pictures. Maybe you can get like a tapestry or a canvas to go up to cover that so you don't have to worry about patching and painting, right? Just another hack. And number eight, your home improvements are too personalized. You might think that the race car mural that you just painted in Johnny's bedroom or the Disney castle in Nicole, Katie and Allie's bedroom is just absolutely stunning, but newsflash. That doesn't mean the buyers will agree with you. Give those rooms a fresh coat of paint. Trust me, it's gonna improve your value. Just that one hack is gonna help you sell your home. Number nine, your home is too cluttered. Even if your home is clean, clutter can still be an issue, right? For example, maybe you simply have too much furniture in one of your rooms. This can make the house feel smaller than it actually is. One of the things we will do is bring over about 10 empty boxes for you when we meet. And we're gonna walk through the home and we're gonna do a little declutter, right? Before our professional photographer gets there. And guess what's coming off? The kitchen counters and the bathroom counters. You guessed it, all that clutter. Pack it up, no one wants to see it, get rid of it. You can put it back up later. Number 10. Your home is in need of some urgent repairs. The more repairs that are needed, the less likely a buyer will want your house. Many buyers simply don't want to deal with the cost or effort of doing repair work, especially if they are paying top dollar like in today's, what, huh, what? Crazy real estate market. Listen, make sure the sump pump is working, make sure the windows go up and down, Make sure all the screens are solid, there's no holes in them. If you started a project, make sure it's complete before we offer it for sale to the general public. And if you need a plumber, I've got one for you. Just reach out. Number 11, you choose to sell your home by owner. In my opinion, choosing the right real estate agent is simply the most important decision you will make in selling your home. A good realtor makes all the difference in selling your home within a reasonable time frame. Did you know there are over 200 things that you need to do and complete in order to successfully get to a closing table with your new buyer? Let me be the one that handles all that for you. 30 years and running. Well, I hope this video gave you some insight into the home sales process and why your home might not be selling in today's highly competitive real estate market. If you should have any additional questions about any of the suburban communities we feature on this channel, please do not hesitate to reach out and ask. And please don't forget to subscribe below for more information on Chicago's best suburban communities. Check out some of our properties for sale at IllinoisPropertySearch.com. That's IllinoisPropertySearch.com. This is where you'll find one of the easiest and friendliest property search tools in the industry. I promise you that. Thanks for watching. I'm Paul Ambrosio, licensed real estate broker in the state of Illinois and the wonderful state of Florida.
If you're thinking about making a move from Illinois to Florida or Florida to Illinois, I would love to be your go-to real estate broker. Please reach out, give me a call. I'd love to help. Thanks for watching and you have a great day.